can I do for you? Lisa, do you need a pillow or anything? No, I don't need anything. She's just having a really rough day. Death in the family. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll go get you some water and some tissues. Thanks. Thank you. I'll be right back. That was great, Lise. Just keep doing the right thing, okay? Just bottle the little emotions a little bit more, okay? Have you done something to my father? No. And it'll stay that way as long as you keep playing along. What do you want from me? For right now, I want to wait for your Kleenex and water so we can have a little privacy and get back to business. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Sure. Feel better, hon. Thank you. Lisa, I need you to call the hotel. It's very simple. Just use your managerial pull to move Keith from 3825 to Suite 4080. I'll leave the details to you. You just sell it. I've got the wrong person. I don't have the authority to do that. Well, I happen to know that you do, and I happen to know that you're the only voice that can get this done by the time I need it done. Now, do you need me to write it down? No. Well then, what's the delay? So by changing Keith's room, does that make it easier? Lisa, whatever female-driven, emotion-based dilemma you're dealing with right now, you have my sympathy. But for the sake of time and sanity, let's break this down into a little male-driven, fact-based logic. One simple phone call can save your dad's life. It has to be made soon. You're going to kill Keith, aren't you? You know, Lise, you really need to start worrying more about your dad. How am I supposed to know he's okay? How do I know you haven't already hurt him? He's fine. Why am I supposed to believe that? Well, the last call I got said he was sitting in the TV room eating leftover lasagna and watching the comedy marathon. Relax, Lise. <laughs> By now, the guy's probably back in the Silver Beamer, parked outside 9321 Pleasant Palms Lane. He's sitting in the dark, listening to a little smooth jazz, while he sharpens his 12-inch K-bar. That's a knife, Lise. I want to talk to my dad. Sure. After you make the call. No. No, I want to know he's okay right now, or I don't call anyone. You're dying. 